Welcome to the closing ceremony of the first ever global e-competition in astronomy and astrophysics. Soon, we will celebrate the best and the brightest. Before that, let's take a look at the event we had. This year, we were actually supposed to meet in Colombia for the 14th International Olympiad in Astronomy and Astrophysics. But in a drastic turn of events in the world, the Olympiad sadly had to be canceled. But we were quick on our feet, decided to adapt and organize the first ever fully online International Astronomy Olympiad. This was most likely an International Olympiad that was prepared in the shortest time, as the final decision to hold the event was made by the end of June, and by the end of October, we're already finished. We had participants representing 40 different countries, with Peru making their debut. And we also had several countries returning after a longer break. Almost 300 students from 19 different time zones competed in individual rounds of the competition. And we also had 40 different teams in the team section. That is a staggering achievement, and thank you to you all. In the northeast corner of Europe lies a country you may have never heard of. Yet you've been here before, whenever you've closed your eyes, and envisioned the perfect city as you listened to fairy tales, or escaped to a secret getaway where no one could find you, or dreamt about a magical stroll through a winter wonderland. And then, there are things you probably didn't quite imagine. Like driving to the nearest island across a frozen sea. Or singing with close to 10% of the population. Or diving into a former Soviet prison. Or wandering through what was once the largest factory in Imperial Russia. Estonia is a fascinating hybrid of Eastern Europe and Scandinavia. Locals enjoy the world's most advanced digital society and yet are closely tied to nature. It's a place where you can pick superfoods from fields of dandelions, enjoy the finest Nordic gastronomy among the wilderness, canoe across flooded meadows, and purify the body and soul in a smoke sauna. We know it's not your average bucket list destination, but we promise it's one you'll never forget once you've been here. Greg Stachowski, the president of International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics. Hello, and welcome to the closing ceremony of the first global e-competition on astronomy and astrophysics. This year should have seen the 14th International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics taking place in Colombia, but due to the global health crisis, that event was not possible and it has been postponed, hopefully only until next year. However, we're astronomers, we don't give up so easily, and we were able to organise this event as a replacement. As president of the IOAA, I'm very grateful to the Estonian Astronomy Olympiad Committee for all their hard work providing the hosting and logistics for this event, and to the Ministry of Education and Research of Estonia, the University of Tartu Youth Academy, the Estonian Research Council, the Tartu Observatory and the Antalyan for their very generous support, which made it possible. So over the last month we have had just under 300 participants from 39 countries taking part, which is a similar size of event to recent Olympiads. The competition consisted of three individual rounds, theory, data analysis and observation, uh, for which question ideas were submitted by the IOA community and refined by an academic committee which was drawn from members of the International Board. The questions were of the same high standard and just as challenging as during the Olympiad and all of the participants I think can be very proud of their achievements. In addition to the individual rounds, the participants were drawn into teams. Just like at the Olympiad, the teams were international with each member from a different country and the teams were named after constellations as is our tradition. Uh, the teams were set two tasks. One was theoretical relating to the cosmic microwave background and the second was a practical experiment to measure the distance to the moon. 
This is something which was only possible because the team members were in different locations around the world and it's therefore the first time something like this has been tried at such an international competition. So we're very interested to see how it went. Um, and finally, in between the competition events, the participants could listen to lectures and webinars given by such people as NASA astronaut Catherine Coleman, Professor Erin Carra and Dr. Elena Maria Rossi. We're very grateful to these people for uh, helping us out with these lectures and providing this material and we hope it was interesting for everybody. So as always when the first time you do something there are some hiccups but I'm very impressed with how it went. Um, I think we were able to get over any difficulties and I hope that this will be a model for future online competitions alongside the International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics. So I very much hope everyone enjoyed taking part. This was something new and interesting for you and it has been a good experience that you will remember for a long time. Once again, thank you very much to Estonia. Thank you to all the participants, team leaders, the academic committee and the IOA and everybody else who helped with organization. And congratulations to all the participants. Announcement of team competition winners. Uh, yeah, so I uh, hope everyone can uh, hear us. Uh, this went rather a lot more. Uh, here are the team competition. Oh, we had some kind of error. Okay, and we're back. So. Uh, best team in measuring the distance of the moon. Team reticulum. And we had a winter applause. And um, since, since actually we don't talk too much in Estonia, so we go straight to the point. So, uh, third place in total. Team Camelopardis. Second place in team competition. Team Tukana. And the best team in team competition. Team Reticulum. And now to the individual competition. So for honorable mentions, uh, we will provide you a list of students in multiple pages with honorable mentions. Uh, and you can see who got them. And this will be the diploma we will provide to every student who will get honorable mention. And next one. And next one.
And um, now we move on to the winners of bronze medals. Yeah, o organizing this kind of presentation it, it is a bit strange for our side, so uh, we actually don't know how, how you should proceed with this kind of uh, thing, so we uh, just move on to the next slide. And next one. And next one. Uh, as a background, since uh, Estonians we don't like to talk, but uh, we really like to sing. Uh, and we actually gather during summers every five years. So we gather like around 10% of people gather on one field and then just start uh, acting silly and singing and dancing, etc. So we present you one piece of how this is going. Okay, we just wait for it. Yeah. Okay.
And now we're going back to the medalist. Uh, and this is a silver medal diploma. Every participant who will get the silver medal will receive. And uh, winners of silver medals are. Ba Yeah, we're clapping. And also these students win. So this probably is a really, really the most important slide of silver medal winners. Uh, at least uh, we in Estonia strongly believe so, that this is the best silver medal slide uh, although it probably is the best best medal slide we have seen so far at all. So take a good notice of this slide, because it's a good one. And this one. And also this, oh, sorry. This one. And the last silver medal winners are these magnificent students. And uh, this concluded uh, silver medal winners. Uh, now we move on uh, to the second part, what the Estonians really love to do. Uh, the moment when, when we are not uh, basically the moment when, when we are not singing, uh, then we are dancing. And this is a special dance made by the uh, folk dance ensemble Tarpatu. It was dedicated to the first uh, global E competition in astronomy and astrophysics. And it uh, displays the most traditional folk dance uh, from Estonia, the Kaira Jaan, uh, which was found in our ethnic knowledge around the same time uh, or one of the most famous astronomers of Estonia, uh, Wilhelm von Struve measures the distance of the star Vega, the one you see on this very image. And uh, so enjoy the way our folk dancers think uh, Astronomy Olympia should be celebrated.
kaerajaan, oi kaerajaan, karga välja kaema, eh kaerajaan, oi kaerajaan, karga välja kaema. Kas on kesvad keerulised, kaerad kasvad kandilised, kas on kesvad keerulised, kaerad kasvad kandilised. Kaerajaan, oi kaerajaan, karga välja kaema, eh kaerajaan, oi kaerajaan, karga välja kaema. Kas on kikkas kaevu läinud, kaerajaan ta välja koolud, kas on kikkas kaevu läinud, kaerajaan ta välja koolud. Ka kaerajaan, ai kaerajaan, karga välja kaema, eh kaerajaan, ah kaerajaan, karga välja kaema. Kas on Kaieviga saanud, et ta paljud kiljatanud, või mis on Kaieviga saanud, et ta paljud kiljatanud? Karga välja kaema, eh kaerajaan, ai kaerajaan, karga välja kaema. Kas on Kaieviga saanud, et ta paljud kiljatanud? Või mis on Kaieviga saanud, et ta paljud kiljatanud? So this is basically how we roll, and uh, now back to the probably mo mo one of the most important parts of the competition: the winners of gold medals, who will get uh, yellowish golden diplomas. And uh, winners are Aditya. Balachandran from USA. William Wang from USA. Varshan Chavanrot, Iran. Liao Yao, USA. Tiago Mariotto Lucio, Brazil. Alexander Enna Boone, 
United Kingdom. Artashes Kracha Kyoletsyan, Armenia. Joshua K, United Kingdom. Jorge Christian Ardeleanu, Romania. Sion Murakawa, United States. Vasil Nikolov, Bulgaria. April Chang, United States. Alexei Kadikov, Russia. João Pedro Shamham Basilio, Brazil. David Corneliu Turcheran, Romania. Jinsong Kuo, China. Bruno Makuoto Tanabe Celima, Brazil. Kasra Hayan, Iran. Artyom Gardeyev, Russia. Shening Li, Canada. Ivan Harichkin, Russia. Sergei Reva, Russia. Trajan Rares Tus, Romania. Margulan Erlanovic Ismoldaev, Bulgaria. Lucas Suoshi, Brazil. Ruslan Sapayev, Russia. And uh, this concluded the winners of gold medals. But there's more because in addition to competing in astronomy, we also competed in pronouncing Estonian. Uh, it turned out to be a rather difficult game. Uh, so, and, and that's why we actually don't give you best ranking. Uh, in my opinion, this, this game was biased because I got like 74% of speaking Estonian, which is nonsense. I actually do speak Estonian. But the best student in... Uh, in randomly chosen uh, methodology in speaking uh, Estonian words is Arian Law, Singapore. Uh, and he will be sent some socks and traditional Estonian footwear and edibles in uh, long notice because we have zero understanding how far post moves from Estonia to Singapore. So this is a, our, our, own, our own attempt to send other, anything else than diplomas. And the best observer in a computer-based Olympiad is... Ruslan Sapayev, Russia. The best student in plotting, where we deliberately said only sketch, is Alexei Kadikov, Russia. But the one best with plugging in the numbers in the most difficult round of them all, in theory round, is Sean Chen, United States. 
And now probably the moment you all been really waiting for because only one student gets to be announced uh, absolute winner. Uh, and he will be or she will be sent a special prize in a due date. And uh, all time best student in the first global e competition in astronomy and astrophysics and uh, only run only winner of the global e competitions and astrophysics is three two one Shining Lee Canada Yeah, and uh, that's about it. Uh, and now, now you all have uh, your uh, winning uh, diplomas. Okay. And we are moving on to the last person who can is allowed to speak. This is obviously me. And since I actually don't want to watch myself too much, I will just make it as a presentation. So, uh, the, the, the very first, first global e competition in astronomy and astrophysics. Uh, how it went? So, the idea to make this, this kind of event uh, happened around April, May. I actually tried to find the first email from the academic committee, couldn't find it. Uh, the final confirmation came around June, so ar around midsummer day. We had the confirmation from Estonian government that uh, they actually gave us money to do it, which is great. Because having money to do things is always a benefit. Uh, we concluded the program for the competition in late August. Uh, we finalize the technical solution one week before the competition, although it broke at some point during the competition, there are no worries, these things happen. And it should be the first fully online Olympiad in the world, a uh, claim we, we hope nobody is contesting. And for competition, it's a competition where the participants uh, were observed doing Zoom calls. We had 38 plus two countries, 279 students in, in individual rounds, uh, 150 students additionally in team competition. Uh, it was a rather hard Olympiad in the sense that the best student in theory got only 50% of the total marks, but uh, comparably data and observation were relatively more easy. And, uh, but whom, whom we have to thank for the student organization is always Jaak Janiste, who is the founder of the Astronomy Olympiad movement in Estonia. Obviously, for the global e competition in astronomy and astrophysics, we have to give honorable mention to coronavirus, who kind of accelerated everything online. And uh, the Estonian Open Astronomy Contest, which we held in April and where we allowed uh, one month before also international participation, it was an uh, organizational disaster because uh, allowing international uh, participation caused that an event which usually has 40 participants suddenly had 200 plus participants and we really failed to actually mark the students because we were too stretched. But it was a lesson we learned. Obviously, I, I'm just a guy who wears a suit and uh, I didn't do it uh, alone. The most important parts of the, we could say, are, were also the academic committees, the refereeing team, the test team, support team, administration team, and uh, all, all the others. And uh, I would just give the honorable mention to the test that we used. So we had this uh, competition environment, which was developed in Estonia. We have Zoom, which you probably will be really fed up already because we have to use it a lot, uh, and Gmail and P Cloud. So I sincerely thank all the members of the academic committee 
Greg, Aniket, Hara, Gustavo, Mihail, Sonia, Geraldine, Zermas, uh, Volodymyr, Charles, and Joanna. It has been a pleasure seeing you on a weekly basis, to, basis through Zoom. And uh, in, in a way, you did it actually, I guess, more work than I did. Uh, then we have the refereeing team, uh, the, the, the ones you are most angry at, probably, or the, the ones who received most emails too. We have Tavet, Nikita, and Tönis and Jan, respectively, uh, team round, the theory, data observation team round uh, referees. And we also had uh, Nina Venna, Tavi, and Kaurare, and lots of international graders who did uh, dirty work of actually grading and marking you. Uh, then we have the, the ones who actually kept it, it all running. We have Grete Liliane, Kutnar, and Miskel. Uh, who were stellar for us of the competition environment, who actually did some live live fixing during the competition. We have the testing team of uh, Kata and Thomas, who tried to break the system before you were allowed to, uh, but you were rather more successful than they were. Uh, then we have the website team, which is Paul and Raul, uh, who made the visible face of the competition. And then we have also the big brothers and sisters who were watching your every step during the competition. Laura, Maria, Karl, Christian, Richard, uh, Henry, Paul, Helen, Hans, Daniel, and Lise. And uh, we have the administration team who, who due to communication, organized funding, etc. Heli, Heli, Rien, and Lise. And then we have uh, all, all the all other people who weren't part of any specific uh, team, but uh, you had some uh, indirect or direct contact too. And that's uh, the, all, all the members who should be thanked. Obviously, also we thanked the government of Estonia, the Ministry of Education, uh, the Estonian Science Funding, uh, Science Foundation, uh, Jan Tallinn Foundation, Observatory of Tartu and everybody else uh, who helped us. Uh, obviously, what you didn't see was uh, Estonia. Uh, so this is a brief overview of what Estonia is. You have a map uh, uh, on, on the bottom. Right, you have uh, the old observatory of Estonia, where Struva worked, or capital, which is basically a castle. And it, in general, it's really important to note that Estonia, the first mentioning of Estonia in history is actually related to astronomy because the first time anybody wrote anything about Estonia was when a big chunk of rock hit one of our islands and made a, made a mess of it and left the hole, hole thereafter. And uh, important parts of it, notice in Estonia, we don't like to talk. Um, we have cold, snowless winters, and we have really beautiful summer. In a good year, it happens to be on the weekend. On a bad year, we miss it. And uh, yeah, we have we, we eat strange foods, and uh, we are in general really nice people. So. Uh, the moment the pandemic ends, come join us and visit us. And yeah, uh, that's about it. That was uh, everything that we had uh, prepared. And uh, yes, basically this ends the official part of the closing ceremony. If uh, anyone wants to have a word, you can raise your hand. We try to give you the, uh, a free mic. And if, if you don't, uh, then uh, oh yes, yeah, all, all, all the technical information. So basically, you you, you still want to get your diplomas. Uh, we we will spread them to team leaders, uh, and we make them available to download uh, from some cloud solution. Uh, we will send out uh, paper diplomas we're allowed to hopefully really soon and also the designated prices for whoever is eligible to it too.
But uh, thank you. And if anyone wants to also give us some word, just let us raise your hand and uh, you get to say it. If not, then, then we conclude it as a uh, concluded, concluded with a nice Estonian chat. Uh, so basically, the, the way Estonian chat works are uh, and done. So that, that was a really great chat. Hope you hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, yes, uh, the certified gates uh, will be sent out. Uh, team problem solutions will be uploaded uh, yeah, kind of partially because uh, there's like no official solution like for the moon problem presentation. Uh, as a spin off, we can have the best moon, moon question presentation at the post Olympia event if there's interest to, for it. And we public publicize the team competition ranking. Yeah, we will publish the team competition ranking. Uh, data score breakdowns uh, will be published uh, per team leaders, uh, per sub question wise, uh, per round wise. Uh, Scores will be also published uh, in an anonymized way, uh, most likely through team leaders. And if that's it, and we have no raised hands, then this concludes the uh, closing ceremony of the Global League Competition of Astronomy and Astrophysics. Certificates will be sent uh, electronically on a short notice and physically, hopefully during the next few weeks. And we can also publish the list of participants in countries on the web page. We had somebody who wanted to talk, but he didn't want to wait. That means it goes away. So, uh, thank you for coming. Bye-bye. Uh, See you next year. And the recording will be put on YouTube. Bye.